Arise, my friends! The revolution has begun! Oh my word, my camera just went literally everywhere. Anyway, last time, Doris has uh, written her manifesto at this point. It's a pretty simple manifesto. She's doing her best, okay? And it has come to our understanding that all that must happen now to have a great regime change is to execute Saul. Despite that, Saul has been uh, rather difficult to execute, which is really... <clears throat> oh, wow, what was that? Jeez. Ugh. <clears throat> anyway, it was really the worst. It has to be said. Saul, um, we, we set him up in the death chamber down here, and the death chamber was apparently very ineffective at offing him. We're gonna have to find a better solution. I don't really know what a better solution is. There's no euthanasia chamber or anything, which should be a thing. Or, you know, being able to, like, have your dudes touch live electrical wires. That'd be a good thing. That would kill him off pretty quick. Um, like, smashing his head against a lamp feels kind of like, I don't know, that feels too crude for me. I mean, I like just getting rid of people, but, you know, just smashing their head in with a lamp is not really, there's not enough finesse to that. Um, so how are we going to actually off this guy? It's kind of difficult, because it's going to be hard to get him trapped in an airless chamber, unless... Is it going to be hard to get him trapped in an airless chamber? Maybe not. No, no, I, I still don't have a solution yet. I thought I was coming up with a solution. I had that moment where I was like, okay, something's coming here, and it ends up that nothing, nothing at all came. Um, I, I, was, I was thinking of nothing, actually. What is this research? What do we just do? Do we just do percolation? What do we... What research did we just get done? Oh, power regulation. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, yeah, because we're working on combustion. That's right. Mm. So that we can stop having these people run in place and cause all of this CO2 to build up. What is going on, Bertrand? Jeez. Do we need another outhouse? I think we need another outhouse. Bertrand has just had a little bit of a mishap there. Guys, can we please set up a couple more outhouses so that doesn't happen again? And by the way, please mop this all up. Bertrand, you have to help. You're not allowed to not help. Oh, that's the worst. Here I thought that we were we had a stable civilization. Ends up that executing people is making uh, the members of our society so antsy about that situation that um, they're having a bit of trouble there. Now oh, the gas filter's off. We don't have any stored power. <sighs> this is the worst. We need to deconstruct these because they're worthless. Just saying. And we need to get some additional batteries set up in the back. We need the nice big batteries here. This, this one. We have enough actual technology to build them at this point. We also need metal. We're just smack out of metal. I guess if we're going to go for metal, we're going to want to dig into here, build a nice tile placement across, and dig into this area. Because there's a heck ton of metal in here, just saying. We can get all this up in here. That'll be beautiful. And we'll also add basically another layer to our colony, which currently is, I'm going to be honest, just a mishmash of stuff put in random places. I mean, you know, we're doing our best. It's kind of like an incremental expansion, you know? I mean, with Saul in charge, we can't expect all that much order and civilization. Because Saul is clearly not a man of order and civilization. He's an autocrat to the core. We cannot trust him in the slightest. So he's going to have to be offed at some point. I mean, I say at some point. I'm actively, actively working on offing him at this moment. It's just not good. Uh, working out very well because he's pretty slippery. He may not be good at running a colony. He may not be good at building or digging Or basically anything. He's actually a terrible person um, at, at everything, but the one skill that he does have is not being assassinated Which is the worst skill to have because we can't get rid of him at that point Dude is everyone doing work and nobody Like digging stuff up or anything. Oh, this is bad. I mean, at least, on the plus side, 
it looks like our oxygen regulation is really good. Yeah, our oxygen regulation is on point right now. This is beautiful. Look at this. The pumps are really, really doing their job. Um, okay, I guess we just have to get research done and stop doing research for a while. Because the colony needs stuff, and it's going to take time to get that stuff. This is not, this is not good. This is like, on a scale of 1 to 10, pretty questionable. Meal wood? Wait. That's the same stuff as up here. Why does this plant look so weird? Is it just like not a happy plant? Is it gonna die soon? I mean, I don't really care, but it is... It is technically in our nature preserve. Which was... Honestly, like... That's the goal of this colony, I guess? To build the nature preserve? I mean, we've been very, um... It's, it's been kind of hard to get to that task with all of the internal conflict. Until all of the internal conflict is dealt with, it's going to be quite difficult, honestly. You know, you got to just hope the one thing. You know, if Doris dies before Saul gets offed, we're going to have a bit of a problem there. Um, it could happen. She could get attacked by, like, I don't know, a morb. I'm sure morbs are really dangerous. I mean, actually, it doesn't doesn't sound like they're dangerous. They're just agile, disease-ridden invertebrate. So they basically sound like a rat, but in squid form. And that's not that dangerous when you think about it. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, that's like a 2. Oh, man, look at this. Maybe chlorine gas is the key to offing our nice friend here. I mean, we have a chlorine chamber right here. You know what? Let's cancel all of this building. We're gonna go cut down to that chlorine chamber. I've never actually had my colonists ever deal with chlorine or any of the, what would you call it, more dangerous gases. But, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah? No? Pretty sure it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We'll get that flooding in here and we'll get Saul in there and just absolutely kill him like nobody's business I mean hopefully it does appear I've never actually had a colonist die before it's pretty hard to kill them they're quite robust creatures and that does concern me for our attempts to assassinate Saul because not only is he good at, at um, preventing assassinations he's also just made of a very uh, robust stock which is the worst how is everyone doing right now? Saul until full? Can I just have him, like, not eat anything? Oh, we could. Oh, we can't do that. That's too easy. We can't just tell him not to eat anything and then die of starvation. That's lame. Like, it has to be an actual assassination attempt, not Saul just having, like, one of those, um... Like food protests where he's like I'm not going to eat anything because I don't I don't like Doris and Doris is like well that actually works entirely into my plan Saul if you could just continue to do that that'd be great and of course Saul's gonna be like oh oh I see oh well, I guess I'm going to have to eat everything Doris and Doris unfortunately will be like oh okay you've you've thwarted my plan sir absolutely thwarted my plan how unfortunate but yeah, no, it's not going to be that bad. Can we make lice loaf, by the way? Do we have any lice? It appears we actually have a lot of meal lice. We need to make some lice loaf. Uh, yeah, so no just killing him. That's not acceptable. Uh, we have to be a bit more clever. I guess... I was going to build all of our batteries over here, but given that it looks like nobody wants to do work at any decent rate... We're going to get that battery set up ASAP so that we can get, you know, maybe a little bit of something running this system during the nighttime because that's kind of important. We can't just have all of civilization cease to exist once there's no longer people running in hamster wheels because a society built off of people running in hamster wheels, it's, can you really say that's a society at all? 
No, it, it's it's not. It's just not. Hey, yo, who wants to join us? Hey guys, you're you're probably gonna be the last person to see Saul before he dies. Um, who wants to join us? Looks like we've got a very athletic Elvis. Oh, Elvis. Yo, like I'm not even joking. I kind of want Elvis. Uh, but Otto is so nice. I mean, Otto von Bismarck is like the best. And obviously, Otto von Bismarck always insults people by accident and exists in a perpetual state of deep regret. Oh, man. You, get in here. Don't even. I don't even care about that, Jack. Welcome, Bismarck. Um, you look very much like Saul, but clearly you're much better because you're Otto von Bismarck. Um, if you could help Doris, I know you're some sort of... Oh, right. Um, Otto von Bismarck has really bushy out eyebrows and Saul doesn't. That's perfect. Um, just saying, Otto, if you could possibly assist with all of the diplomatic and... Um, nation building that's necessary as Doris executes Saul. That'd be quite nice, because I know that you... Okay, uh, uh, on the other hand, you can just shovel a bunch of poop. I mean, you do you, Otto. You do you. <sighs> He's the worst. <laughs> He's the worst. I try to get him to do, like, some diplomatic jobs, because, of course, he's a great diplomat, but... I guess he's not having any of it. He, he just wants to shovel poop all day, which, I mean... You're not a yokel. You're not actually allowed to just do that. <sighs> yeah, I don't think Otto was the best choice. He just doesn't... I mean, I had high hopes for him. I had, I thought that he would be the person we need, not the one we deserve. Ends up he's the person we deserve and not the one we need. Ah, uh, okay, Otto. Like, good for you. Let's build you a cot. These guys are the worst. That's a massage table. Let's get a cot up in here. Cot up in here! Do we really have to assign people to these? That's the worst. I mean, who's really stressed out right now? There's clearly an 8%. Bertrand is really stressed out. Bertrand, um, you're gonna get a massage table. If you can have a nice massage for a moment, that'd be great. Oh, he's loving that. Look at that. Oh, it's just like really going to town on him there. It honestly looks like it's just trying to chop him to pieces. I mean, I guess if he likes it, there you go. But Bertrand, that's that looks really, like, really dangerous, honestly. You probably shouldn't be laying on that. That's It was probably built by Saul, honestly, and I wouldn't trust anything built by Saul. Even if it was a stick. If Saul built a stick, I would not trust said stick to, like, I don't know, be sticky. I don't know, generally, it's pretty trustworthy to uh, have a sticky stick. Um, let's see, anyone else need some stuff? Otto von Bismarck apparently is immediately freaking out, but I guess it's not the end of the world. He's only got a 2% stress as opposed to Bertrand's 8% stress, so we fixed that. The outhouses are apparently now going into to, um, full creation. We have two set up at this point. And that should be perfect, actually. Civilization is continuing as expected. Outside of the whole one, Otto von Bismarck is sleeping on the ground. Two, Saul still isn't dead! Why is he still alive? Who allowed him to survive? Who did this? Who did- it was me. It was me. I, we haven't- we haven't pressed the breaking into the room with the chlorine gas and flooding Saul's general living area with chlorine. Clearly that's a problem. We need that to be fixed. It's also really hard, like really hard, to lock a duplicate in a room. You'd think that would be easy. You'd think you could just get them to lock themselves into the room. They're not that intelligent, but apparently not. They don't care in the slightest. Anyway, uh, with the uh, arrival of Otto von Bismarck and our continued failed attempts to execute Saul, who definitely needs to be offed if society is to succeed, that will bring us for now to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time we will probably get into this chlorine gas chamber and 
Hopefully that'll kill Saul. If that doesn't kill Saul, I'm pretty sure he's invincible. And that's going to be a problem because we really need him to die for the betterment of society. But anyway, until next time, thanks for watching, of course. As always, enjoy the rest of your day.